oh my goodness guys it has been a while it has been a while since i've sat here and filmed a video and it's honestly because i literally took a month off to celebrate my birthday but i am back and i'm hoping that i'm going to be back consistent filming content for you guys and i am kicking off my first video with a bang and exciting video and that video is an unboxing this is not a box so an unpackaging <laughs> i have received my first round of samples for my clothing blanks brand and i'm really nervous but excited to unbox it and i'm really hoping that they have managed to get it right on the first go because then it means that i can release these t-shirts quicker to you guys so before i unbox them i just wanted to go through a couple of things about the spec and stuff what i'm gonna be comparing it to and seeing what whether I actually like the finished results. So I've got my little notebook here where I wrote down everything I was basically expecting from the samples. I am starting a clothing blanks brand and obviously it's gonna have a large range of blanks eventually. But what I decided to launch with was a range of t-shirts and then basically build on the brand in that way. And I feel like if you are launching a clothing brand, that is exactly how you should do it. You should launch with a small range of products, your core products, and then expand as you go along so i decided to launch with a range of t-shirts because i believe when people are looking to start this sort of clothing brand they usually start with a really good quality t-shirt just to sort of test the waters and dip themselves into the industry that is clothing so that is what i decided to launch with and i decided to go with four colors and the spec of the t-shirt is going to be 300 gsm ring spun cotton so a really glorious soft cotton and the cut is going to be the exact same cut that i use for my own clothing brand so that's basically the spec that i told the manufacturer and i'm just really really hoping that they have managed to basically bring that to life i guess i don't know but let's let's have a look <laughs> I have been holding off coming to my office to look at these samples for like the longest time. I think they've been here for some time. So straight off the back, we only have two samples and I paid for four samples and four samples actually cost me £350. Each sample was supposed to be £100 each. However, because they were all t-shirts and all that was being changed was the colour, I managed to negotiate and have that price dropped to £350. So if I am paying that sort of money for a sample i am expecting to basically receive everything that i've paid for and that is the kind of mindset that you guys need to have if you've paid for something expect to receive it like i want to see all four of my samples so he might say okay there are your samples what do you think of them we can just go ahead and produce your bulk order because you have seen these two samples don't ever accept that you need to see all of your samples i'm gonna check because i feel like this may just be the first round so i'm gonna check when this was actually sent to me because i feel like i should be expecting more samples okay yeah this was sent in april which means this is the first two samples that he sent me so i should be expecting more because they said they sent them on the other samples should have been sent on the 15th of may and today is the 21st of may so i really truly should have received them but obviously they're not here with me today i only have these two so these are the ones that we're gonna unbox now from what he wrote in an email he said that this is 320 gsm as opposed to the 300 and then he said this sample they use the wrong kind of cotton so i'm aware of that but let's unbox them anyway now the cotton is really soft this is what the sample looks like 100 cotton ring spun and three three twenty gsm it is super super soft a lot softer than my t-shirts it does however feel a bit light like i feel like is this truly 350 gsm i need to actually go on the internet and see how i can test out whether something is the way it's supposed to be but perhaps it's because it is a different type of cotton but it does it does feel a bit thin let's unbox the other one now this one feels a lot heavier that's because it's 350 this is 100 percent cotton 350 gsm you can straight off the bat tell the difference in weight but this one is a lot similar to the t-shirts that i have for shiva shiva it has this like thing in here which i don't believe no my t-shirts do not have that the construction is just not it's not quite there 
This is a medium, so I'm going to compare it with my medium t-shirt for my clothing brand and basically see what that looks like. But there's definitely a lot of feedback that I need to give this um, manufacturer, which definitely means that it's going to delay the launch of my blank t-shirt brand for sure. Because what's most important to me is ensuring that my garments look exactly how i need them to look but i am setting up a meeting with the manufacturer next week so i will definitely be taking you guys along so that you can see kind of like the feedback that i give him in a meeting and basically like go from there because already i'll just give you a couple examples my t-shirts they don't have this what is this i don't I don't need that extra bit of fabric in there. Like the example that I gave them, I said copy this to the T. They've added things. This seam right here, I know you guys might think I've been a little bit extra, but this seam right here, I know I'm blocking the mic. This seam right here, it doesn't look like the one on my t-shirt. I don't know whether I'm close enough for you to see. The seam on my t-shirt, it's not that large, if you get what I mean. Yeah, we're gonna have to work. The overall construction is okay. Does it need to be a bit more black these two blacks are different i can already tell see these are all of the things that i'm gonna need to like note down so that when i do meet up with him i can give him all of that feedback but it is making me a little bit nervous because it's like are you gonna get it right but it's rare that the first round of samples come out right but it just means that it's going to delay the process but what i do want to drill into you guys is that if your first round of samples are just a little bit off don't just think it's okay we just need to make some minor corrections make those corrections and see the samples again because that's why you're paying an extortionate amount of money to receive samples it's so that you can do that back and forth until they get the garment absolutely right from what i've received nothing's right they have got even the fabric i said 300 gsm this apparently is 320 and this is 350 the white of this is it's off like that's not that's not white like the white of this color that's fine this white right here that's not fine when you are in this position what i'll tell you guys to do is take the image that you use for your tech pack so the flat drawing that you took for you use for your tech pack or alternatively you could take a picture of the garment itself and then what you're going to do is put that on a document and basically annotate everything that you feel like needed improvement with this particular garment now if you want me to film that video for you guys and show you exactly how i would do it then definitely let me know and i'll see whether i can film it before i actually go to the the meeting i'm not sure that i'm gonna have the time to do so but if anything i'll probably just show you an example of the annotations that i've done already but definitely let me know if that is something that you'd like to see those are my my two samples if i wanted to give it a score out of 10 i would give it like a four or five so far i have incredibly high standards and you guys should have incredibly high standards as well i don't accept nothing less but yeah i'll definitely be giving him some feedback and letting him know that i haven't received all the samples and yeah we're gonna basically go from there but guys i really really hope that you have enjoyed this video and you have picked up a thing or two from you know what i have said i'm feeling a little bit like oh this process is going to be a lot longer than I wanted it to be, but it's one of those things. The game is the game. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please definitely subscribe, like this video, and I will catch you in my very next video.